Hello, my name is Danny Silva, and we're going to check out Google Calendar Labs today. First, to enable Labs, click on the Labs Beaker in the top right-hand corner. If this isn't there, you can click on Calendar Settings and then the Labs tab. Remember, Labs are experimental and may change, break, or disappear at any time. Most of the time I see Labs disappear because they have graduated and are still available in Calendar. There are some great labs that can be used at school and in the classroom. Some of the ones that I feel are useful are Event Attachments, Event Flare, Who's My One-on-One -on -one With, Year View, Dim Future Repeating Events, Jump to Date, and Next Meeting. Remember, if you enable or disable a lab, remember to hit Save at the afterwards. Event Attachment and Event Flare are two great attachments that can work together. Event attachments will allow you to add an attachment to your event. This is a great resource for students if you want to share a document with them. Click on the event, edit event details, then simply add an attachment. This will let you bring up your Google Docs library and you can just select an attachment from there. Next, to allow students to see that there's an attachment, you can add event flare. You can do that while you're editing or you can do that by clicking on the event and picking the event flare you'd like to use. As you can see it adds a noticeable icon for students to see what event you want to use. To collapse or display Google Labs on the sidebar click the plus or minus and you can open and close those events. To close the entire sidebar, click on the thick bar next to your calendar and do the same to open. For more info on Google Calendar Labs, check out the Google Apps Education Training Center.